What's good, Grey Gang? We're out here today. We're actually at a 3D target range, but basically what it is, is there's a bunch of 3D targets like deer, bear, hogs, coyotes, wolves, rhinoceroses, hippos, like, I don't know, jaguars. But yeah, we're coming out here. There's 30 targets, all different ranges. We gotta figure out how far it is, figure out which pin to use, and boom. We just, you know, you had to do that over and over and over, and we have 30 times. So we're out here gonna try to shoot 30 animals, get practice up with the new bow I bought yesterday. Hopefully we can kill Bucky. Speaking of Bucky, I got the Bucky Doesn't Play Game shirt. I'm just gonna let y'all know, if you want a Bucky Doesn't Play Game, Sure. It might be a good idea to buy one here in the next few days because once I kill Bucky, I'm not going to be selling these anymore because after Bucky's dead, there's not going to be much reason to sell a Bucky shirt. And so, yeah, the first thing we're going to do is just, you know, shoot at that big old target just to make sure our sights aren't off or anything. That way we can go in the woods and have confidence to, you know, shoot fake deer and stuff like that. Okay, that's pretty good. Here we go. So right here's my groupings. Well, that one, it's actually sort of inside there, but it'll be okay. That's pretty good, 20 yards. I'm ready to go shoot some deer. And so now that we've shot a little bit and made sure that our bows are on, we're gonna head on over here to the first one out. Looks like it's an antelope. 31 yards. We can do it, we can do it. I think I killed it. And if you can't see, the antelope is over there. A little pronghorn or something. Boom, dead lope right there. It's a dead lope. Is it dead? Did we kill it? Come over here to stop number two. Right over there, I'm putting a red arrow on it, but. Yeah, it's right up there. 36 yards. That's a decent little shot. Here we go. We don't have hogs where we live, but we don't really care. We'll shoot a foam one. That's a, that's fine with me. I've noticed it's fun to shoot my bow whenever I've actually got a bow. Neither one of us really hit it in the right spot. Did we still kill it? Wow. Sort of. I mean, neither one of us really got the ring thing. We both pierced this little weird lung thing on the outside. Oh, yeah. And after this one, we're going to walk right up there, and then we'll see what we got next. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. I'm about to put the GoPro on and see what y'all think about that kind of view. Do I look professional with a backpack on? No. I've seen other YouTube videos, and they done this. And they had backpacks on and arrows sticking out. So I figured, hey, I'm in Kentucky, but I might as well do the same thing. It's a bedded black panther pretty good ways out there it's right over there my tip is how far is he 38. i'm gonna shoot it with the gopro on here we go black panther 38 yards and i'm gonna kill it spine shot that'll kill it that'll kill it like hey i think it i think it might be dead there should be there's a boar gonna range you how far 31 That sounded like a missed target. It did. It hit a limb. <laughs> it hit that limb right there. I just shot that off. Gotta have excuses, guys. You gotta have excuses. Under it and probably exploded on that tree. Well, oh! I ain't the only person. <laughs> yeah, I'm not the only person who exploded an arrow. Mine is like in the tree. How in the world do I do something like that? <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't think it's in there too far. What do I do? If you can't get out, you leave it. There's what someone else done. Same thing. There's part of an arrow in the tree. Right now, we're about to shoot a cheetah. How many yards? 32 yards, but uh, I ain't gonna lie, guys. I'm pretty bummed. I just like broke an arrow. I've had these arrows for two days and I've done broke two of them. So, you know, I don't, I don't really know what to do. 30 yards? Yeah. At least I killed the cheetah. At least I did kill the cheetah. And I, I killed him pretty good too. Mine's the center of my, mine's this one right here, but uh, yeah, 30 yards. Now we got this one right here. This one's pretty cool because we've actually got to shoot over that hump right there. Looks like a doe or something bedding down, but uh, what is it? Just, no, just standing, but it is over a hump. We got to shoot over the hump and thread the needle from the ground right there. You tell me how far and I'll kill it. 25 yards. 25 yards, it's dead. Dead. Will it be the same? Deadness right here. Whose is who? This one's mine. I'm going. Now here for the next shot, there's actually a monkey up there in that tower right there, and we got to shoot him down. That may be a hard. One. Let's see here. Where's the entrance at? I think I don't. This it's the other way. Yeah, this ain't it. Yeah, that ain't the course, dude. What's next on this one? Black bear. Is it? No. Black bear. Here we go. Downhill too. So 20 yards downhill. There's some sticks there. Sticks are mean. I can tell you right now. They do not like me, and they cost a lot. Somebody's got to hit them though. That is a dead black bear. Either way. That's a small black bear, though. As far as I know, we don't even have black bears here. Yeah, we, do. we do, but there's like four per square state or something like that. Here we got a little coyote over there on the edge of the pond. A little coyote out here. 30... I don't know. I'm a... I want to shoot him from right here. I want to shoot him from right here. Let's see how far he is from here. We're supposed to be shooting from right over there at that yellow flag, but I want to, I want to see what I can do. I'll shoot up to 40. 32 yards. 32, yeah. He's moving up to the flag. Gotta go by the rules. If I can find one with a good backstop of just dirt, I'm gonna go all out and like shoot 40. I mean, I've done lost one arrow. What's two gonna hurt? Listen here, guys. I'm gonna back thigh him. Back thigh. Well, back lower thigh, but that'll work. Here we go. This is probably gonna be the longest shot we can do today. It's a little uh, deer back right over there. How far is it, 40? Yeah. This will be the farthest one we shoot today. Mainly because that's the farthest pin I got. And you know, don't feel like losing any more arrows. 
buggy spotted right up here. He's 40 yards away. We got him. He's not even running. He can't even go nowhere. Well, guys, I don't even think I killed it. I don't think I did. One of us didn't kill it. He wouldn't run too far. Track him a day or two. That ain't even Bucky, dude. That's a ram. Well, you still got another chance. Guys, go ahead and comment below. What are your thoughts on Bucky this year? I mean, honestly, I felt like if I see him, he's gonna die. But I've done seen him yesterday, and he didn't die, so I really don't know what to say anymore. If I get a shot at him, he's gonna die. Coming up on our next target here. I don't know where it is. That's another 40 yarder right there. Looks like a black bear or hog. Maybe this is Blackie right here. Black bear. Boom. That was really bad, really high, but you know, at least I didn't lose another arrow. That's basically all I'm going for. As long as I don't lose arrows and I like semi hit the target, I'm happy. I'm doing good. Now we've actually got like a ladder stand to shoot out of. Well, sort of a tree stand, that little playhouse like thing. It's not super high, but that's high enough to, you know, feel cool. Oh, wow. That is a shot right there. 44 yards. 44 yards. I'm gonna aim at, I'm gonna aim at its top back with my 40, and if not, it can hit the ground. I ain't gonna be mad. Boom. I can thread the needle right there here. I can try. I'm gonna shoot it again. Somebody actually hit that tree right there. You see that arrow? Somebody didn't have the best day right there. Dead hog right there. Dead hog. Oh, what'd you hit? Limb. You hit some limbs on the way over there. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Oh, I think I hit another tree. I did hit another tree. I don't think. I know I did. Oh my gosh. I hit another tree and stuck it in again. Maybe since this one was a whole lot farther, it didn't dig in as far. Oh, I can get this one out one way or another. Should I just unscrew it? Yeah. I'm just going to unscrew this guy. That way I don't lose the whole insert. Well, that stinks, but I do have an extra fill tip at the house. From the arrow I broke yesterday. Oh, this one's a, this one's a straight up hyena. Ain't Not it? a javelina, but a hyena. Oh, this one's a fun shot. It's like between three trees. You got to really thread the needle right here. So I'm telling how many people's hit that center of a small tree. Probably a ton. Yeah, it's a tricky one for sure. You got... Yeah, you done it though. Look how many times have people's hit that thing. They've destroyed it. Somebody's arrow has bit the dust. That's yours. For real? Yeah. Well, my arrow has again bit the dust. My fletchings are gone. Now we're coming up on the first buck of the course, or at least the first deer that the antlers were still on its head. But yeah, he's right down there. Here we go. I'm going to shoot twice at him. 40 yards away, too. Here we go. Well, guys, we have officially completed the 3D archery challenge, but our day's not over. I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to go do something. What's good, Craig? And we're here in the woods. As you see, we got shotguns. We're going to try to get us a few squirrels. And that's the plan, and that's what we're going to try to do. So let's get on and try to kill one. Got him. Boom. Got him. Only took what three, four shots? I saw him drop that shot. He's right there under a tree. He's a big he's one. He's a big one. He's a house cat. He don't even act like he's dead, but he is. See this right here? This is something we've not saw all day. Fresh, fresh scrapes. There we go. That's good. Right he there. looks like he's even dead. That's a good squirrel. Yeah, it's a good squirrel. He's a we'll put him right back here in my satch or whatever satchel or vest or whatever. We'll get on to the next one. The weird thing is, we are, are you willing to say that we honestly gave up? We were close. We were very we close were to close. give up. We just turned off the ranger and like just sit here and then you no, know, there he was. And yeah, let's just go. Let's go get another. One. Let's go get another. One. There we go, number two of the day. Shooting lights about to run out on us. Hey, we still got two. And we still got to clean them, right? Still got to clean them. Still got to clean them. That's the fun part. See what? These are good sized gray squirrels, aren't they? Yeah, those are big ones. Those are like King Kong. Okay, so now we're done killing them. We got two out of the day, and you know, Alex has never skinned squirrels before. I'm going to try my best to show him. Let's see what we got. What kind of weapons do we got here today to slay them with? Which one? I guess this one. That one? All right. Just never Pop used it to... out. Oh, yeah, that'll work. That'll work good. Oh. Okay, so first thing, here's what we're going to do. Make a little slit in his back. Wow, that's a that's a sharp knife, I'll tell you that. Them outdoor edges, they're supposed to be real sharp. They but. are. This was a fat squirrel. I mean, well, I don't know, but look at the fat. That's some straight fat right there. Big gray squirrel, y'all. That's This is honestly the biggest one like I've ever seen. Like, for real. Biggest gray squirrel. This is the size of a fox squirrel. That's how big we it is. We thought it was a fox squirrel. Yeah, we thought it was a fox squirrel how big he was. And there's one leg, now we got three more to go. Catch yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Sharp knife. That is a sharp knife. Was it worth it? Yeah. Yeah, it was worth it. Right, you got yourself pretty good. So this next one, you're at to skin it. Well, it's fine with me. Yeah, I've, ri I've skinned more deer than I have squirrels. I don't think I've ever seen a gray squirrel that big. I've not. This is a giant. Okay, here we go. First time. Just make you a good little slit in the back to where you can stick both hands in there. And then you just rip it, start pulling. And just pull as hard as you can until he just comes, until he just all the way. There we go. Yeah. Another gut shot. Another gut shot. I've been doing that before and having just to explode. That'd be fun. Yeah, it was fun. 
It was fun. It wasn't clean, but it was fun. And then what a lot of people do is they'll even cut off the feet first with like big pliers. That way, whenever you get right there, you can just slide them right off instead of having to break the legs and cut them. Where break his leg about right there. Right there. Yeah. Pretty strong little bones, weren't they? There, there you go. go. Good little bowl of squirrel so far, and we're not even done with the second one. That's pretty good. So yeah, far. you're gonna get good meat out of that one. There's supposed to be a quicker way to do it, where you like cut the bottom of the tail and then pull up with your boot or something. But I don't know. I've never, I've never honestly done any good doing that. I've just pulled the tail off. Okay, guys. So we're pretty much done skinning the squirrels. If you like this video, tell us in the comment section. Hit the like button, and maybe my finger will heal. So comment your favorite part of the video, whether it was shooting the 3D targets or the squirrel hunt. But anyways, yeah. Tell us and uh, yeah. Tell them to roll the outro real quick. What do I say? Roll the outro. Roll the outro. If you're not part of the Grey Gang, go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button on the top right and feel free to watch some of my past videos on the left. As always, favorite squad, post it up down low. If you want some of this sweet merch, head on over to kennelgrey1.com or the link in the description. But besides that, I'll catch you later in tomorrow's video.